uh, Sarah Lawrence was actually my third school that I went to. Um, I did uh, one semester at a large state university that I went to directly after high school. The second I stepped on campus, I knew it wasn't for me. I think I was one of 300 uh, students, you know, so we had these large lectures and you're just a number and you feel like you're that big and you feel like if you have one question, you know, you have to wait till next Tuesday to ask it to your TA and that's how, that's how I happened upon Sarah Lawrence. I knew what I wanted um, and, uh, and that was independent thought, that was, you know, great teaching and, um, and small classes. The, the, the teaching there is just, uh, it's second to none. I, I, I can't emphasize that enough. Sarah Lawrence um, teaches you to be a chameleon of sorts, I think, um, and uh, to really try new things as well. I mean, perfect case in point, when I was at Sarah Lawrence, I took everything from Spanish to cell biology, you know, to you know, history of the English language with Anne Lowinger. The writing skills that you gain there um, are just uh, are, are lifelong, and they will open so many doors for you. They have for me already. My favorite thing to do was to take the the free bus down. You know, they would let you off at the Met, and um, I'd pick an avenue on a Sunday Sunday afternoon and just you know walk from Central Park all the way down downtown. Um, it, it was just it was great. I loved it. I loved it. I took a marketing job. Although it was a very mainstream job and completely the antithesis of Sarah Lawrence, I, I just learned how to work so independently and, uh, and think for myself at Sarah Lawrence that, that really carried through. And now I'm in the midst of a major career change and uh, I'm going to, to cooking school and hopefully going to follow um, a culinary driven path. Sarah Lawrence taught me really to follow your, your chosen path and to think independently.